Hello, this is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com and today I'm going to show you how to play a fun boogie style uh, 12 bar blues. Uh, so this is this is quite quite an involved tune. Uh, you're gonna need a harmonica in the key of A. We're playing in second position in the key of E. And uh, before I show you how to play it, let's listen to what it's going to sound like. A one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this quite quickly because the licks are gonna be up on screen and you can always uh, play them back and go back through the video if you need to. Uh, so let's have a look at the first lick which fits over the one chord of the 12 bar blues. So that's gonna sound like this. A one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're starting on a two draw, root note of the one chord, and we are playing two draw, and then very quickly you're gonna do a one, two, three draw chord, and you're gonna enunciate it by saying ta. And then you're gonna to go to a three draw on the next beat, and then to a four draw on the next beat, and then five blow, six blow on the next beat. So those are gonna be eighth notes rather than quarter notes. So that was Okay, so really make sure that you get the rhythm of this right. So the first two notes are eighth notes, so they last half a beat, and then the last two notes are eighth notes and last half a beat. And it's important to get that nice, swingy, groovy feel going. So let's try playing that together nice and slowly. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so the biggest difficulty that is potentially gonna arise with this is getting back in time from the six blow to the two draw. So you might find that you can play the lick at speed by itself, but you can't get back to that two draw quickly enough. So what do you do? How do you practice it? Well, you don't practice it at the speed that you can play the lick, you practice it at the speed that you can play the transition so that you can actually practice what you can do. So even if that means playing it really slowly and doing That's totally fine because that is a foundation that you can build on. But if you're doing this That's, that's not useful at all. You're not practicing the transition, you're not playing everything at the same tempo, and you're not going to get better with it. So really have the discipline to slow yourself down if you need to. Okay, so that was the first lick, which fits over the, the one chord, and you're gonna play that four times before going into the second lick, which goes over the four chord in bar five and six, and it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so same kind of idea. We're starting with one blow, which is the root note of the four chord, and then you're doing a one, two, three blow chord. And remember to enunciate that. And then you're going to a two blow, then a two draw, and then the last two notes, which are eighth notes, are the three draw whole step bend and four blow. Okay, let's try that together nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm gonna loop that a couple of times and I'm gonna play it really slowly and I want you to see if you can loop it with me. So the same problem that potentially you're facing from the first lick of getting back in time from the four blow down to the one blow, you know, it might be, it might be like that for the four chords, so doing it slowly is a really good idea. So let's try that. One, two, three, four. 
Okay, so that only gets repeated twice, um, and then we go back to the one chord. Before we do that, let's try it one more time, a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And then we go back to the one chord. Okay, and then we move into the next lick, lick three, which fits over the five chord in bar nine. And that's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so this one is the same rhythm as licks one and two, but there's a slight change in the approach. So the first two notes are both gonna be one drawed. And the reason for that is because we can't play a chord down there over the five chord because the notes aren't in the right place for the five chord because of the way it's tuned. Because we'd need to have a one draw, a two draw half step bend, and a three draw whole step bend for that to actually work. So instead we're just gonna double up the one draw, which is the root note of the five chord. And then we're gonna to go to the two draw half step bend, then the three draw whole step bend, and then the four blow, four draw. Okay, let's try that together. One, two, three, four. And a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that only gets played once because it's the five chord and the five chord is only being played for one bar over bar nine. And then we go into lick four, which is a variation on the four chord lick and it's gonna sound like this. A one, two, three, four. Okay, so you're still starting with the one blow, one, two, three blow chord and then two blow. And then we have a, a little sequence of eighth notes, which is gonna be two draw, three draw whole step bend, two draw, two blow. Okay, so let's put those two halves together. Let's try that slowly, I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. And a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we get to the turnaround, which is gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you probably, if you're a Big Walter Horton fan, you might recognize that lick. I've been inspired by Big Walter Horton's and. Uh, Walter's Boogie, um, this is very similar. So we're gonna start with the same idea, two draw, one, two, three draw chord. And instead of going up to the three draw, we're now going to a two draw. And then we have this nice little eighth note run. Two blow, two draw, two blow, one draw. And then two draw, and then one draw, one draw for the end of the turnaround. So that's. Okay, let's try that together nice and slowly, just the turnaround. One, two, three, four. Okay, cool. So. Before the end of the lesson, let's just have a little run through of the last four bars of the 12 bar blues. So I'm going to play the five chord into the four chord into the turnaround. Lick three, lick four, turnaround. Let's do that together. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay, so the biggest thing to work on in this tune, once you've got each of those licks working by themselves, is the transitions between them. There's a lot of repetition, and there are lots of jumps from low notes to high notes that you need to master. So I, I suggest that you spend a decent amount of time working on that. 
And now what you can do uh, to, to make it easier to learn, you can click on the link in the description below where I have put together uh, the tab sheet for you to download. And you can also listen to audio clips of each of those licks being played through nice and slowly and also at full speed. And that'll help you to learn the tune. But before you run off and do that, you can do something really quickly for me. Give me a thumbs up by hitting the like button below. And if you haven't done so, you can subscribe to my channel because I put out a new harmonica lesson every single Wednesday and I wouldn't want you to miss out on the next one. Thank you very much and I will see you next week.